hours after it has been reported that George Zimmerman was the one who was shot at, not the one who was doing the shooting. I still see media outlets such as the Huffington Post running headlines such as George Zimmerman involved in Florida shooting. Many were quick to run with the story of how George Zimmerman was quote unquote involved in a shooting when the news first broke. But what is the excuse for continuing with a misleading headline about an incident where Zimmerman was shot at? Police have identified the shooter as Matthew Apperson. Zimmerman wasn't the shooter in the shooting incident media outlets are reporting he was involved in. So the story is that a man shot at Zimmerman, yet I see media outlets using a headline that doesn't make that clear. And then many people are assuming Zimmerman was the aggressor. And that's the insinuation, unfortunately, from this tweet from Fair, when they ask people to remember when the New York Times reported George Zimmerman was, quote, not prone to violence. So they're asking us to remember that when news breaks about this shooting where Zimmerman was shot at. So I tweeted, from what I read, he was shot at by Matt Apperson. How was that violence on his part? And I linked to this video, which I recommend you see, which shows how a public relations firm hired by the lawyers for the Trayvon Martin family pitched a story to the media. And that narrative took hold. And regardless of whatever facts came out after that, people clung to the original narrative fed to them by the media, which got their story from this PR firm. I still find it amazing that Matt Gutman of ABC still has a job as a journalist after tweeting this where he declared that Zimmerman shot Trayvon Martin because he was black. If you have questions about the Trayvon Martin George Zimmerman case, you can post your question in the comments to this video. Because I, unlike a lot of people who insist on having an opinion about the Zimmerman case, watched the trial. 